Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. This is a quick video to show two different ways that you can use profiles in uh, touch chat with word power. Uh, the first one that I think I've shown before is being able to set up for bilingual use. So this is uh, word power 60 basic and under social, I've added a button. Let me show you the button action. Edit page, Spanish. Your button action is select profile. And then I tap that and boom, it took me straight over to the same uh, vocab file I linked it to in Spanish. So in the same location, I've created a button to take back to English. Um, another way that you can use profiles is occasionally I had patients who came to me who were maybe on a smaller uh, grid size, potentially even smaller than this, but this is my example. But really, once I got to exploring, they could really handle a lot more, and so I wanted to move them up to a larger grid size. But the danger in doing that is if they're already used to something, you don't want to take that familiarity away or their ability to, to communicate. So how I handled that is using a profile. In this case, I decided to put those buttons to toggle back and forth under places because you're kind of changing your place, your location. And I had uh, a button in both the vocabs in generally the same location that I could use. So under place, I programmed here one for Word Power 108, and it takes me straight over there. And then under Places, and in generally the same location, Word Power 60 Basic. Uh, so the key is whenever you are setting this up, you need to save it as a profile, which you go under Settings, Save Profile, um, name it, save and you're done. Um, the key though, the very important key is you need to have everything the way you want it before you save it. So um, all of your settings, any customizations, your voice, because anytime you change something, you need have to remember to go back and resave that profile. Um, so I'm gonna cancel that. So again, you can just go back and forth easily. The thing I always do when I'm doing this, either for changing a language or changing a grid size, is I want it to be no more than two taps in. I'm not gonna take away something off the home screen to do this. I'm trying to find a location that just takes that one extra hit because you need to be able to do it quickly. So boom, boom. And back over here, Spanish. English, because you would need to be able to do that um, on the fly. And then again, there, two, boom, boom. So I hope this helps.